Hi everybody. Um, we're going to look today at how to draw polymer structures in the repeat unit style. So we've looked at a few different ways of drawing chemical structures this semester. Um, and so if we think about what's really happening in polymerization, when we make a polymer, forming a polymer, that's going to kind of instruct us in how, how we want to draw our polymer structures. Um, so first of all, to make a polymer, we're going to take a monomer, which is a small molecule like this. Now you'll remember that this is an example of a Lewis structure where we show all the connections for all the atoms. And when it undergoes polymerization, uh, something initiates the polymerization and then a whole bunch of these connect to each other. So instead of having just that one atom, or I'm sorry, that one molecule, we now have it connecting to itself over and over and over again. Like this. And I, would, I could keep drawing that as long as I wanted to. Um, so you can see here that there are repeating units. So like, I could take this little piece here and you would notice that that is actually the same as, as the starting material in terms of the atoms. So it's two carbons connected and then each one has two hydrogens. Um, so I need to find some way to, or, or have some way to express that this keeps going on forever and ever. I could do something like drawing little dots. So we do that sometimes to just show that it's going on and on and on. Um, and then the other thing we could do is we could condense this a little bit so we don't draw all those hydrogens all the time. That might make it a little bit easier. So I'm going to show you a couple different ways that we uh, use to express a structure like this in what we call repeat unit style. All right, so first is we could take just the same type of structure, the same type of Lewis structure, but only draw that one repeat unit, that one part that keeps repeating over and over again, like that. That's actually enough to express the entire structure because we're saying it's repeating over and over again. So if we just rep uh, show one part of what's repeating and then we know it's repeating over and over again, that's enough to show what the structure is. So the way that we do that is we use parentheses or brackets are fine too like we did up here. And we put an N just to say it's this thing N times. All right. We could also do this in a condensed form. So we could make something like, let's see, I want to make sure I have enough room here, uh, like this, and we could call that CH2, CH2. Move my head out of the way. Oh, other way, sorry. Um, and then have the N down there like that, right? That would be the same thing as this, another way to express that structure. And then we can do that in a line structure as well. I'll do that over here. So the this is often the most difficult for people to kind of get their head around. Um, so to explain this, let's look at the carbon. So our monomer is made from two carbons, and that's where the repeat unit's going to come from. We still have two carbons here, we have two carbons here, and then we also have two carbons here, one and two. These extra bonds are the things showing the extension. All right, so this um, monomer, by the way, is called ethylene which makes this polymer polyethylene. Okay. And then we're going to look at a couple other polymers as well. So if instead of ethylene we started with propylene, and this time I'm going to go straight to the condensed structure like that. So that is propylene. If we look at that condensed structure for propylene and we want to show it uh, repeating multiple times, once again, I'm going to draw it with multiple repeat units um, and then we'll look at it in the, the repeat unit form, the, the condensed or, or easier form like this. So that might look something like this.
All right, so there's three repeat units again. Right, um, we can see that here. So here's one, here's two, here's three. So it's the same thing repeating over and over again. And because it's repeating over and over again, we can express it uh, in a more condensed form. So we can say, instead of drawing this a bunch of times, we really only need to draw it one time. which would look like this, right? So once again, let's keep track of our carbons. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then here, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So when we try this in a line structure, we want to keep that one, two, three, but recognizing that the repeating is only coming from one and two. Um, so to make sure we do that right, let's just draw one and two first, just as we did up here in ethylene. Right, so there's one and two. So now we can show that the repeating is coming off of one and two. That's where the repeating is coming from. And then there's also number three, carbon number three, coming off of carbon number two, which in this case we still use a line structure for. Um, so that would be our line structure for polypropylene. And you can use the same technique for anything that, any of these structures that repeat from those two carbons. So we go one, two, and then whatever's connected, we add the things that are connected. Uh, so for example, something that's a little bit bigger, and let's say it's not drawn in such a nice, um, obvious way. So this molecule here is called styrene. Right? And we want to know what would polystyrene look like? So if we polymerize styrene, what would that look like? So again, we have basically the same thing going on here, but it's not quite as obvious that it is the same thing. Um, so first, we identify, <coughs> excuse me, the double bond here that's going to be extending to make the, the polymer. So it's going to kind of go from here and from here, right? So that means that in our repeat structure, or in our uh, polymer structure, we're going to have something like this. Again, one and two, one and two, right? So we lose the double bond because now we have to connect outside of it. And then we have the styrene connecting here. And that's our, whoops, sorry, no parentheses there. That's our poly styrene. All right, so you can try some of those examples and uh, practice that a little bit so that you get comfortable moving between the uh, monomer structure, and then the polymer drawn in the style of the repeat unit.